Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Dr. Phil and today we are going to be talking about this game that everyone has been playing and it's called Pokemon Go or Pokemon Go. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not quite up on all the terms of this game. So part of this game is that people do these things and they're called raids. Well, we're going to do a raid, and you see there's a raid right here in front of me. So what we do, I guess this raid is for, looks like a Gen 2 or a Gen 3 Pokemon. And what we do, we click on this thing. It's called a gym. Now, when we click on the gym, we encounter this puppet thing. This is one of the Pokemon that they have. Now, when we're clicking on these Pokemon, what we need to do, we'll spin this gym. Actually, you know what? We'll wait to spin the gym because, as I understand, you can get a free pass out of these things. So you click this battle button here, and it brings you up a pass. Now, once it brings you up a pass, it brings you into the actual gameplay arena. So we're in this arena right here, and... Other players can join in. We'll see if they do. It is my understanding that this is a low-level raid. So with low-level raids, most people, they don't need extra help doing these raids. So we will basically be doing this raid by ourselves. It gives me a couple of creatures here to use, other Pokemon, and for those of you watching at home that don't quite understand what a Pokemon is, most of them are basically, it stands for Pocket Monster. So we have Pocket Monsters that we use. They're not very big. You don't really fit them in your pocket. They are fictitious. My producers are telling me we do have to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. I'm just kidding. We don't have time for that now. This raid starts in about 45 seconds, so we're going to see what happens. They give me here, it's a bunch of dinosaurs for when you have to fight this. I don't know why they're dinosaurs, and it looks like we have a dragon of some kind. So those are what we're going to be using. So this raid, as I was explaining earlier, is a bunch of people can join in, and they have different tiers of raids. You have a level 1, a level 2, a 3, and a 4, and also a 5, which is a legendary. So this raid is about to start, and we're going to experience our first raid together on this show. So, let's get started, shall we? So this raid is about to begin. This is for this puppet creature. I'm using some sort of dinosaur that I'm not quite sure what's going on. Now, part of this raid, you have to tap your button, and you see powers powering up down there. We'll use one of those. It looks like it's called Crunch, and we'll hit it a couple more times. Now, this looks like it killed the Pokemon, but however, according to what I'm told, Pokemon, they don't die. They just simply faint or pass out, because we don't like killing things. Killing is bad. So, thank you for joining my show for today. Apparently, we won this raid, which is good. Now we have a chance to catch this puppet creature. Now, it's kind of weird. It shows that it's snowing on the game, so I don't know if it's tied into weather or not, because I'm told looking outside, it's not really snowing. But, you know, things can go a little weird at times. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to catch this thing. Let's give, well, I totally missed on that one. Let's see if we can fling this ball. This thing just doesn't like sitting still, now does it? Or I'm just a bad shot at catching these puppet creatures. I'm not good with puppets, and I'm told the puppet is also a ghost type. Now, I think this means I caught the Pokemon, which is a good thing. So, we click this button here, and then we can appraise this Pokemon, and it lets us know 
how good the Pokemon actually is. There are three teams. You have blue, yellow, and red. So I'm on a blue team, and this is the appraiser. Her name is Blanche. Very nice name. Sounds kind of like a Texas woman. We hit this. says this puppet is a wonder. It's a breathtaking Pokemon, and its best attribute is its attack. And its stats exceed my calculations. Now, to my understanding, that means that it's a very good Pokemon or Pocket Monster, whatever you want to call it. So that goes into a thing that's called your Pokedex, which is right over here. This is actually just a list of all the Pokemon that you've caught. There is an actual Pokedex right here. And this shows you every Pokemon that there is that with every generation. I think they have seven or eight generations of Pokemon. One of the two, we're not exactly sure. And you can scroll and you can see all your Pokemons that you have caught. So let's scroll down and we'll see if we can find where this puppet actually is. It's a ghost type Pokemon. So we know it's going to be here somewhere. It doesn't look like that it's anywhere in Generation 2. So maybe it's in Generation 3 somewhere. And we'll see if we can find it. Now it looks like I found him right here, number 353. It's a shoop it. A shoop it. Not a puppet, but a shoop it. So we take the shoop it, and you can click on this. As you can see, this means... You've got a shiny version of the Shoopit. If you scroll to the other side, the Shoopit also has evolutions, and it's a maquette. I'm sorry, a banette. I told you I'm bad with these things. So this is it. What I encourage you to do, go out and play this game. Have some fun. We're going to click on this gym here. Remember, as I told you earlier, you can spin this like so. Now there is my extra pass that I've got for today. And it gives you a bunch of other items that you can use, like Pokeballs, which are throwing these balls like I did earlier at the Pokemon to catch it. We're going to exit out of here. That is all for today's show. I sincerely thank you for watching. Remember to tune in tomorrow. We'll have another great episode of the Pokemon Show. Thank you for watching. You know, subscribe. That way you can get the update on that video when it comes out. In addition, give us some likes. And as you know, because this is a show, we always like comments. I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll be right back.